forces are securing Delta-1. They're long range to surrender, but they're wounded. They've captured Tector Charlie. What's going on everyone, Azide back here with another Battlefield 2042 video. Today we're going to be going over the M5A3 and why I feel like it's the most versatile AR in the game's current state. This is currently the only gun I have mastered at tier 1, so naturally this is the first gun I want to go over and show you guys why I think you should use it. So first and foremost, uh, most importantly I feel like we need to go over the plus tree for this particular gun and how I run it in different situations. When it comes to setting up my weapons in 2042, I try to keep three distinct presets for different combat scenarios. So here's a little diagram to show you what I'm talking about. The inner circle is my default setup. Because these attachments are closest to the center of the plus tree, these are the attachments that will be on the weapon when I first load into a match. So essentially this is my all around setup for the M5. We have the fusion hollow sight, the extended mag, the rattlesnake grip for accuracy on the go, and the suppressor. This is how I run the gun for most situations. In the middle circle, I have attachments for my CQC loadout. I have the UH-1 smart sight, the shortened barrel for increased rate of fire at the cost of velocity, the flashlight for that blinding effect, and the close combat magazine for increased reload speed, rate of fire, recoil control at the cost of some range. This is the loadout I try to run when I'm clearing out rooms or buildings or I'm flanking behind the enemy. And depending on the situation, sometimes I'll take off the shortened barrel, keep the suppressor to stay off the minimap, or I'll swap back from the flashlight to the rattlesnake grip so I can stay mobile but keep that accuracy at the same time. Lastly, on the outer ring, I have my somewhat of a range setup where I have the hybrid sight, the high power mag for increased range, the extended barrel for increased bullet velocity, and lastly, I have the master key on the bottom, which is kind of a ringer because you would think I would put the Cobra grip on for increased static accuracy, but Honestly, with the M5A3, you don't really want to use it at extreme ranges beyond 70 meters. Uh, at that point, you're pretty much, you have to tap fire the gun. Look at us, he's gonna get us. And this gun really excels at close to mid range. But with that being said, I do still keep this somewhat of a long range setup, but I keep the master key on the bottom just in case someone wants to roll up and get a little froggy. Nope. <laughs> no. Especially considering that with the high power magazine, you only get 20 rounds, and with the extended barrel, you're losing out on rate of fire. So the shotgun allows you to keep those aggressors at bay, just in case you get caught out. Consider trying out different combinations of attachments to see what works well for you. There's a reason why I feel like this is the most versatile AR so far. It's not amazing at any one particular stat, but it's very good all around which can be very useful in different combat scenarios. One very important thing to keep in mind when using the M5A3 is to not underestimate its hip fire potential. This is probably the best AR in the game right now when it comes to hip fire. Under normal circumstances, you probably wouldn't even consider using an AR for hip fire, leaving that to the SMGs. But let me tell you, the M5 is no joke. I'm gonna get two B1 and, and somebody else somebody spawned behind me. I'm getting shot from behind. What the Oh. With all that being said, the M5A3 is definitely my favorite AR in the game right now, just for its overall versatility. The fact that it can do pretty well in most situations is what draws me to it so much. For the remainder of this video, I have some raw gameplay just showing the M5's potential. If you guys enjoyed 2042 and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe, stay blessed, peace.
Nice. They're still above you to left, above you to left. And a tank. I disabled that tank. He's in the house. This guy with C5. Okay. Hit reg. <laughs> you did it too. No, y'all doing C5 too, but I was shooting at someone. I feel like there's still some hit reg issues, man. Oh, got the tank. Yeah, it's about time. How long were we trying to take A3? Was that five minutes ago? Huh. Nobody, was, <laughs> nobody was here with us? Not it. Everyone will come. All behind the oil canister back here. Bunch of them. Yep. Of all the people, <laughs> of, every, <laughs> of all the people here. 